Peach bat doesn't just eat fruit, it disperses seeds too, 60,000 in a single night. An incredible 70% of fruit in Southeast Asia comes from plants which depend on bats for their pollination. And while we're on the subject of bats, is this a graveyard? Actually, it's a gangland. These mounds are made by termites, and each one houses a separate colony, numbering up to three million individuals. The towers can rise 12 meters into the air. In proportion to their size, termites build the largest structure of all land-living creatures, and that includes us. The human equivalent of a termite mound would be a skyscraper 25 times taller than the Empire State Building. It would soar 11 kilometers up into the air. Termites are either soldiers or workers. Soldiers like these defend the colony. Workers tend the nursery. The young develop into one or the other. If many soldiers are killed, a decrease in the concentration of their smell causes more infants to grow into warriors. The tower has endless tunnels, a metropolis of streets and alleyways, yet without a glimmer of light. Termites are blind. They find their way around with smell. Deep in the heart of the community lies the queen, and she's a huge egg-laying machine, a pulsating, immobile sack that produces an egg every 10 to 15 seconds throughout her 30-year life. She can't feed herself and has to be tended by her children. Her consort, the king, is dwarfed. Apart from the king and queen, all other termites are sterile. She secretes chemicals that repress their ability to breed. But they're not impregnable in here. If termites had alarm bells, they'd be ringing now. The attacker is an aardvark, an animal with an incredible sense of smell and powerful claws. It can sniff out termites buried deep within the mound and break in. When the aardvark has eaten its fill, the repair gangs rush in. And because they're blind, they have to work by instinct. They glue the soil together with saliva, the smell of which attracts others to the same spot. The damage is repaired within hours. Three million inhabitants give off a lot of heat and use up a lot of oxygen. And so the whole fortress is air conditioned. An ingenious arrangement of tunnels and chimneys causes a continual updraft of air that not only cools the interior, but also draws in fresh oxygen. But if termites are master builders, some are also master demolishers. Instead of building their own home, there are termites that move into somebody else's. In the warm climate of the southern United States, Termites cause a billion dollars of damage every year, more than all other natural disasters put together. A single colony can eat over five tons of wood in a year. Humans tend to take this personally and we bring out our heavy defences. To stop such attacks, the house must be sealed in an airtight tent. This is chemical warfare, with no conventions against it.
This house may have been saved, but man's war against termites is never won. There are lots of us, but there are more of them. In fact, if you were to gather together every single person on the planet and every single termite and then weigh them, the termites would tip the scales.